Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's two minute message. Now guess what, I wanna give you one key that if you do this, I guarantee God will transform your life. I know you think of yourself, oh come on Fusco, there's no way you can tell me one thing and it will work. I'm here to tell you, yes it will. Here it is, are you ready? You have to be obedient. I know you hate that, right? I, I don't even like saying it, but I've been thinking a lot about the Great Commission, one of the most famous passages of what Jesus said, where Jesus said that, you know, um, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all the things that I command. You know what I said? Teaching them to obey. So here's the deal. Our problem isn't necessarily that we don't know what Jesus said. Now, for some of us, that is the case. We don't know what Jesus said. But you have the Gospels, you have the teachings of Jesus, and you need to know what he said. But it's not enough to know what he said. Now you have to do what he said. You have to take a step of faith in obedience to what he said. Don't miss the fact, Jesus says the exact same thing in the Sermon on the Mount when he talked about the house that is built on the sand and the house that is built on the rock. In both cases, who hears these teachings of mine and does them, that's the house built on a rock that no matter what happens, that house stands. And the house that isn't built on the rock are people who hear these teachings of mine and does not do them. So it's not enough to know the teaching. It's will I meet the teachings of Jesus in faith with obedience and walk it out? And I'm here to tell you, if you simply do the things that Jesus said, by God's grace, he will transform your life. And if you don't believe me, read James chapters 1 and 2 because James is saying faith without works is dead. He's not saying that we're saved by our obedience. He's saying that our faith is proven by our obedience and really the resurrected life of Jesus becomes ours not when we just know what Jesus said, but when we take the step of faith and obey it and do it. So this is what I do. I want you to share this video. It's not a popular thing to talk about. That's okay. It's biblical and we like that stuff. And in the comment section, I want you to share this is an er a teaching of Jesus that I... I need to start obeying right now. Because when we put that stuff out there, people start to pray for us and encourage us to take those steps. But listen, we want to do the teachings of Jesus. And when we do it, God's spirit will do all the work he wants to do in and through our lives. So let's obey the Lord. He's the Lord. God bless you today.